Hi everybody, welcome to Old Guy's Garage. Hey everybody, welcome back, good to see ya. Um, this episode, um, I wasn't going to make, but I made anyways. I had enough footage to put something together. Um, and what it's going to be about is painting an engine in your car. So my wife was like, oh, don't do that. It's cheesy. <laughs> but I'm going to do it. Um, I think you guys can learn a lot from it. Or, you know, hey, if you got a car, if you got your engine and you, you definitely would want to paint it, but you don't want to wait uh, till you got to take it out to get it rebuilt or whatever, um, I think this episode will help you out. So I was in process of putting a new radiator in and all that stuff. So water pump. Um, so I'm still working on cooling upgrade video and or a cold case video because that's the radiator we ended up putting in the car here. Um, and there was some work to that going from a from an original factory two core radiator to um, an equivalent four core factory size radiator in this car. So there was some additional parts that I had to buy and some fabricating I had to do to get this all to work. So um, but that's in a video coming up soon. Um, so this video, um, these are definitely tidbits of what I was doing to improve the cooling system. And then I, I figured, well, I got all the pulleys off. I'm just going to start painting the pulleys and the brackets in the front. And why not? I'm going to paint the fan. So I painted that. Um, and then I had the whole front of the engine exposed. So I just cleaned that up real good, primed it, uh, put my engine color on that as well um, and and sprayed a little bit of the the top of the intake manifold so um, as as a start and then um, from there finished masking off the valve covers anything that needed a sharp line I masked off anything that I could cover um, with a trash bag I you know whether it was you know like this AC unit or the headers down here you know stuff like that trash bag if you want a hard line definitely use tape like you know if you want a hard line around your valve covers definitely use tape um, I did also remove the carburetor as well to give me full access to the top of the motor here that was a big help as well so and then I removed the alternator bracket and uh, painted that um, what else did I do here um, Gosh, yeah, the water pump I painted off the car. Um, these pulleys I painted off the car. I think the, the power steering pulley um, I painted while it was on the car. I just moved trash bags around it and cleaned it up. To use some degreaser, some lacquer thinner, and and uh, use gloss black. So use gloss, gloss black on my brackets. And um, more on, on when I was doing the radiator the the front frame down there I used the um, the POR 15 chassis black to match everything else that I've been working on over this past year so hope this episode helps you guys out um, I think the 400 is looking really sharp right now so didn't take the valve covers off I got new valve covers um, they're doing really well so I hate to take them off um, I put these put something else on right now so they're doing really well i'm just going to leave them on so anyhow guys uh have fun watching this episode and we'll see you at the end so yeah just some other things i did i took this heat riser thing off here below the carburetor I had the carburetor off um, this thing here I just wrapped in masking tape and unplugged it from the intake manifold here and just had it resting on top here um, removed all the plug wires of course I just had them laying back up there um, against the cowl um, what else did I do yeah I took off yeah the fuel line all that stuff I also took off the uh, the fuel pump that, that way it gave me full exposure here to the front of the motor to get cleaned up and primed um, beyond that yeah just using trash bags that cover bigger surfaces and where you need a hard line or, or more more protection from the paint you know use the masking tape so and there's a picture of the cold case got that baby in there it's doing great 
Working with the overflow bottle. I'm glad I got this. They're definitely, it's definitely been been used. So you could definitely see fluid going in and out from time to time when I've been running the car. So. All right, everybody. This may seem pretty hokey, but I am going through and going around and, and painting parts of my engine. So I'm just getting this whole front end cleaned up before I put the water pump on. So not sure if I'm going to make a video of this or not, but. You know, I'm uh, just doing what I can here, clean up the front. Um, I've hit everything with some um, lacquer thinner and everything. I'm going to spray this, spray, kind of blend the top of this and uh, this side of the engine. I'm going to work on the rest in the sides and the bottom at a later date. I'm just getting the front here prepped, painted it the 400 Oldsmobile copper color. Um, so I'm going to have a multicolor engine here for a little bit, but um, it'll all look good when it's all said and done. But I got I got the whole front end torn apart, so, you know, might as well get the paint on there and freshen things up a little bit. So just using some lacquer thinner and a wire brush and going through and getting uh, crud and stuff off. Uh, then I'm going to mask things off, use uh, trash bags as, uh, you know, larger masks um, for the suspension and other stuff. And... Uh, go from there so i'll use tape for for specific stuff like this to mask off so well let's get to it i got the fuel pump off as well as you can see so days uh days winding down unfortunately so um i'm just going to stick to it here and uh, we're going to get some primer on here i also got a new temperature sender sensor sender so this one broke so got that all cleaned out in there as well so i think we're in good shape i think we're in good shape when we get everything put back together well, let's go do a little bit more cleaning and uh, start painting. Oops. Yeah, I don't know if I'm going to make a video on this or not because some people think it's, uh, you know, pretty hokey to paint your engine you know whoops while it's in but i gotta paint that the frame underneath i gotta i want to also paint what's underneath the uh the radiator too the radiator main support underneath there get that all painted up so i'm gonna get this masked off let that dry a little bit Got new valve covers too, but uh, I'll put those on later. You never know if we got to get into the engine. I hate to have them all dinged up. All right, I'm gonna get a few more trash bags. All right, doing some cleaning here. Getting some prep work done. I'm going to paint some of these pulleys and stuff. So. Hit most of this. Um, we're going to get some masking tape. So, yep, just prepping. This is the older water pump here versus the new. And then this is a shim, I guess, that the original engine builder put on there. This looks like it's pretty nicely machined too, so... Huh, I don't know what the hell that's about. There's some rust build up in that too. Oh yeah. Hmm, I went somewhere, but that's full of rust. Alright, let's start with the fan here. I think I'm going to get warmed up on this back side here first. I'm going to do a tack coat.
him just doing a tack coat. Grab my pulley, do the same thing. Oops, I think I got it. See if I can flip this guy over. Wish I had something to hold on to him. My wife said after she painted her pulleys that uh, definitely kicked down any squealing that she had and was battling. Wow, look at that. That looks brand new. for another coat on this guy. So it looks pretty damn good. Now this frieze of copper looks. I'm excited. And this is an engine enamel, so it shouldn't break down as easily if gas gets on it or whatever, like some other paints. Let's just do a tack coat here.
that other part. Spray the, spray the tufts in each places first. Oops. You say the wind's blowing the overspray perfectly. Away from the cars and all that jazz. everybody it uh, looks like after I stick in my GoPro in the refrigerator it's working again fortunately I made it this far without you but um, you can see the uh, progress we're making here on the 400 so getting ready to uh, tighten the bolts up get all the bolts at least threaded I got a bolt here a bolt a nut here nut here I got some nuts and some shims through here and then I got another one down low um, gonna be reattaching here shortly so Make sure that that bolts all the way through. Mm -hmm. Okay, so he's threaded on. Probably nine sixteenths or five eighths. So yeah, you can tell I've been doing some painting. I'm gonna get an extension for this. Just don't like going in on an angle. Shaping up, looking better there. Whew. One step at a time. Yeah, there was some dude in his freaking Corvette. It had to be like a two, late 90s, 2000s Corvette of some kind. They all start looking the same to me. There we go. But, but yeah, he, he was like freaking gunning it, and I'm like, dude, my husband's got something a home way cooler than what you got. <laughs> yeah. That of, looks so good. A lot of people have Corvettes, that's for sure. Oh, I know. That's a vehicle I just never got into. Nah, me neither, so. Or right, I'm going to get that top gooseneck on. Boy, that looks good, don't it? That looks real good. Tired, you know. I know. A little hungover, I guess. I don't friggin' know. Had too much fun last night. Yeah. It's good to good to let loose, though. Okay, here we go. Yeah, I stuck my GoPro in the fridge. Now it wants to work. <laughs> oh, I forgot to put the hose clamp on that shit. You can just undo the whole thing and... Yeah, that's what I'm going to do. I'm not going to... The whole hose clamp that is, not your... Yeah, I don't want to take all this shit. Gonna get this guy threaded again first and then... Life distracted me a little bit, darn it. Okay, it's gripping. Yeah, I feel 
feels good. I'm gonna loosen this guy up and reposition him. That's on there. We're gonna reattach the uh, heater bypass heater bypass hose here. Awesome. Oh, got one of the older hose clamps on. Let's see if I got a newer one. There we go. Okay. There we go. Position that where I can get to it after the fan is on. Okay. All right. Good deal. Got it back put together before uh, before dark. So. Holy cow! This guy is tired. Looks good though. All right, everybody. That wraps up day one here. We got it, the front end of this motor put back together and got the. Uh, Oldsmobile copper um, on the 400 here um, as it came out of the factory with the copper copper paint so tomorrow We're gonna be tackling this we're gonna be cleaning this up. We're gonna put new new brackets in for the bigger radiator and uh, Hopefully get this guy put all back together by the end of tomorrow so So got it all cleaned up um, using the trash bags as a mask along with uh, masking tape obviously and then I'm going to go around here and move the trash bags around if necessary to do more spraying. So putting a primer coat on maybe I don't need to do this but I'm going to go ahead and do it. I think it will help the uh, copper um, adhere a little better. So I'm going to do that and uh, continue on. Hopefully be uh, spraying the copper here soon. Got plenty of light here. Got the fan going to suck any exhaust residue overspray out and right out and away instead of it going falling back on the car so getting ready to start spraying some copper coating on here this is this side got another bag up here up front and here's this side over here so still trying to cover the headers I had trying to hide any overspray marks on anything you know so but um, feel free to move around the trash bags as you need to to um, you know, make sure the overspray doesn't hit anything you don't want it to. So, all right. Well, let's get some copper sprayed on here. I don't know if you can see it or not, but you know, you can see the uh, overspray moving right to that fan and that fan blowing it out, which is what we wanted to do. Guess you could say I'm doing like a tack coat, spraying it from this angle. I'm going to go on the other side of the car and spray it from that angle because we got lots of angles to spray here. You can see over here. Let's see if I can't adjust that light. A lot of things in the works over here. Might be a little better. Oh, there goes the light. Just knocked it. Might have to put the fan down to uh, trying to keep it moving. This is what it looks like after working some of the copper in. I like the progress. I'm going to get another can. First can is empty. I did paint the whole front of the front of the motor when I replaced the water pump. So um, one can's gotten me a pretty good distance. Uh, Fusic recommends four total cans to do the job, but um, so far I'm in the two. Again, I haven't painted the bottom yet or anything like that. So, um, but anyhow, I'm going to grab that second can and uh, finish painting these heads and moving the uh, moving the good old trash bags around as I see fit to keep overspray off the of stuff. 
spraying, so let's do the big reveal here. Let's see how this turned out. Let's see if I gotta go back and hit anything. Not too much overspray. It's like I can get this down here a little bit better. It's going to be a little tough. I don't know if anybody's going to see it though. Once I put the uh, AC bracket on there. So. There we go. Okay. Overall, man, I think it looks pretty good. Got to get some more light on it, of course. All right, everybody. Hope this video helped you all out. Hope to see you soon at Power Tour. I know we're getting ready, so getting excited. So can't wait to see everybody's ride. So anyhow, just remember, whoa, whether it's a muscle car, a classic car, a race car, your dream car, let's keep them running, and we'll see you next time.